distant learning explainer video. So what is distance learning? What is online learning? And how are they different? Distance learning is a process in which students learn by using resources that are far away from them, even in another city or another country. Technology may be as simple as printed material delivered by the mail or as advanced as interactive conferencing by computer on the internet. Online learning means that your educational tool is based on and accessible from the internet. You may also hear this as cloud-based education solutions. Regardless of its name, online learning programs are anytime, anywhere tools, which also means learning from home. Essentially, the major difference between online learning and distance learning is geography. The big differences include location, interaction, and intention. Basically, students can still be in a classroom with an instructor and use online learning, whereas students that are separated from instructors and peers in distance learning. In addition, online learning requires some degree of in-person teacher interaction, while the distance learning means no in-person interaction at all. Online learning works as a supplement to direct teacher guidance where distance learning attempts all but replaces that guidance with pre-made instruction. The different types of online learning experiences that are available for students are self-education, online college courses, supplemental online education, we have online public or private K-12 schools, as well as educational apps and programs. How have these experiences in school types evolved historically? Well, it started back in the 1700s with correspondence education. In the 1800s, an English educator taught shorthand by mail on postcards to students. By the 1920s, radio allowed universities to broadcast information and courses to students, but it was just a one-way communication. In the 1950s and 60s, some TV stations offered college courses that resulted in degrees. By the time we got to the 1980s, we had advanced technology with broadband virtual schools where the students could interact instead of learning passively. Big brands like IBM and Motorola started using virtual classes for their employees. By the 1990s, distance learning developed with the use of satellite virtual classrooms, mobile phones, video conferencing, and the internet. Online learning is succeeding because the long-term desire to learn, to better one's position in the world, and because of the moment-by-moment -moment pleasure of participating in learning experience that's continually exciting and rewarding, and it creates a valuable sense of social connection. The best practices in planning and designing of online experiences, the most important components in your online course design include establishing objectives for your course and your learners aligning learning activities with your objectives and providing timely feedback to students. New media and online learning environments will be constantly changing and play a crucial role. The trends and developments suggest the direction of online learning specifically for higher education. We see that K-12 classes are pushing for technology integration. Artificial intelligence is advancing swiftly. STEM courses are on the rise and continued focus on accelerating mobile apps is in pause. 